When I first started playing music seriously, I loved um, pop rock or, you know, more specifically, I loved Nirvana. When Nirvana came out, I fucking loved Nirvana. And, like, I got, got a guitar, and that was, like, my gateway into my thing. Uh, the music that I'm most inspired by in my life isn't about the individual, it's about the collective. It's not about using sound and using this power to, uh, you know, propel the individual forward. It's more about using this power to create something that is beyond what the individual, beyond what the individual and more about what the collective mass is. <laughs> The way this whole thing came about, first of all, was it's still a, um, it's kind of a blown out version of my solo loop music. All this music um, was composed using my solo loop setup. So it'd be me like doing like very small sketches and very, like a, um, if a song in, in here is five minutes long, um, it could, it's probably uh, a cut and paste of a couple 30 second loops pasted back to back to create this thing. So. It's just like all these modular nodes of loops that I would kind of use to kind of and put in different orders to see what would make sense. And then after it was done, then I'd say, okay, this is the piece. And I, I kind of get a sense of what this piece is. And now I'm going to orchestrate it and, you know, and get other instruments involved. So I'll, I'll admit, like, I didn't come straight to the page and just start going, it's like in a trance writing. Divine. Yeah, yeah, yeah it, it, it was way more... Uh, you know, trial and error, because the music is very effects-based in the sense that I, I want to create effects with these instruments. So I have to be able to hear it first. I can't guesstimate what it would sound like in some cases. Do you write music every day? No. You don't? No. I am not prolific. I'm, I'm a person that works in very um, specified times and ways. Um, I have ideas, but um, and I wish I could write every day. With, with battles, we practice every day. And so technically the creative spirit is a kind of a constant thing. Having said that, even us, I think we would agree that we don't necessarily get things done every day. And that's how it is. Like, there's no way to be productive every day. There's just no way. <laughs> yeah, I wish there was. The balance is hard because, um, you know, I'm, even now I'm still trying to find a way to strike the proper balance between the band and, and this music. Um, we're now writing our new record and we're full throttle and I have to find a way to still be able to work on my own stuff at the same time and do my own music. So, um, yeah, it's always, an, it's always a battle. It's always a yin-yang. I don't want this music to be exclusive or elitist. Mm -hmm. And, and um, I'm not saying that that's what all classic music is, but I feel like classical music is viewed even in the way that it's presented, not even by the way that people accept it, but the, by the way it's presented in a very cold, kind of static presentation. A lot of people were saying music, um, the last thing music should be is something for the public, you know. I, a lot of composers in like the 60s and 70s said that they should, music shouldn't even be played, it should just be, you know, it should just be written and appreciated. I mean, that's the extreme. And it's valid. If that, if that's that that take is valid, I don't. I want. I would like to hear my music right. played. Doesn't personally. that sound nasty to you? It sounds nasty. But the one thing I will say, the, the other side of the coin, is it's just from a philosophical standpoint. The thing that's exciting about that kind of stuff is, that's how wide music is. Mm. That's how wide it is. It's not just. It's there's so there's so many directions you can go, and it, it, it makes me appreciate it. And also makes me appreciate seeing that overview of everything that you can do. Um, you can still pick the way that you want to go and present yourself in the way that you want to present yourself. So, mm. I love how all my interviews start end up being like uh, psychological sessions for me, like like shr <laughs> shrink sessions.